Hello. So we've got the planes going north at 350. I forget the units. And we got a southeast wind acting on it at 60, I'm guessing kilometers per hour. Okay. Well, if it's from the southeast, that's like we have a 45 degree angle here. So our angle outside here is 135. Well, anyway, this angle here inside this triangle we have now, when we add our resultant, that angle is 135 also. So we can use the law of cosines to figure out the magnitude of the resultant. And we're going to have a squared, which is going to be our resultant, equals 60 squared plus 350 squared minus 2 times 60 times 350 times the cosine of 135. Work out all those numbers. A is going to equal 394.713 kilometers per hour. That's the speed for the resultant. To figure out the angle for the resultant, we're going to use the law of sines. We're trying to find this angle here. Okay. So we got the sine of A over the opposite side of 60 is going to equal the sine of 135 over the 394.713 that we found for the resultant. Multiply both sides by 60. Take the inverse sine of 60 sine of 135 over 394.713 and we get an angle of 6.170 so this whole angle from here over to here is going to be 96.170 degrees so that's our angle of the result they wanted a bearing, we would have had to do something different, but it didn't say anything about bearings. So there you go.